Hi, in this video we're gonna use Terraform to create VPC in Google Cloud Platform and we also create two subnets, private and public. Let's get started. Okay, and the first thing that you need to do is to create a service account uh, in order to use Terraform. So I already created the service account and I downloaded credentials. And now let's go ahead and create the main um, Terraform file. Okay, we're gonna start with the provider block. So the first thing that you want to do is to provide your valid credentials. So it's gonna be uh, my service account and I just downloaded the JSON with the credentials. And then you need to specify uh, what the project do you wanna use. I'm gonna be using my own project, DevOps by example, and of course the region where you're gonna be working, okay? And the first thing, uh, we want to do is to create the main VPC and um, you can use a Google Cloud Network resource in Terraform to create that uh, VPC and also you can follow this link and you can find much more input variables to this resource so for example this particular resource will accept um, description after create subnetworks, routing, mode, project, etc. So you can you can always uh, find more variables and customize your resources for your needs. And let's uh, in my case I just specify the name, and I specify that I don't want any subnets to be created with that uh, VPC. Let's go to terminal and run Terraform init. to initialize backend and also let's run apply and type yes and it's gonna create the main VPC in our Google platform okay it was created let's go and check it out so let's refresh our page and we will see that we have the main VPC and we don't have any subnets just yet and let's go ahead and create some subnets uh, let's create the public subnet first so here you can find more variables but I'm gonna define the name for this uh, public subnet is the public and I'm gonna define the cedar block region and also I need to specify the ID for the network and I can use the previous resource that I just created and that's the one that's the compute network main admin and I can use ID from that resource let's do that and let's also create the private subnet because the only difference will be uh, is the seeder right at this point it's just the placeholders and the um, this seeder is 10.0.0.0.24 and this one 10.0.1.0.24 for the private subnet and when we created the uh, main uh, VPC it also created some default routes so we have the default route to internet gateway so when we create the public uh, subnet it will be public because it has the default route to internet so let's create those two subnets let's type auto auto approve just to save some time and it's gonna create two subnets okay so let's go and check those subnets let's refresh the page and we will see that we now have the public and private subnets okay and the last two uh, resources that we need to create is the cloud router and the NAT gateway so this is the cloud router and you're gonna well we're gonna call it router and we're gonna use the uh, VPC ID and the last resource that we want to use is the NAT gateway and we're gonna advertise only um, private IP ranges so this NAT gateway will be available only in our private subnetwork 
And let's go ahead and create it. Okay, let's go check it out. And you can type cloud router. It's gonna be cloud router. And you can see that we have the cloud router now here. And also let's check the NAT gateway. Cloud NAT gateway. And we have the cloud uh, NAT gateway. And if you click on the NAT gateway, we will see that it only available in our private subnetwork. And let's take a look again on our VPC. So we have the main VPC. We have the private subnet. And we have a public subnet and we have the default route to the internet gateway and also we have local routes for those subnets and not gateway and router. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching.